So today I'm going to show you how to create a Wix photo album and password protect that photo album. So what you want to do is go into the Wix app market and click on it. It's this little uh, store icon here. And then on the upper left, under categories, click categories. And then on the right, it says photography. Click on photography. And then where it says Wix photo albums, on the right, you want to click on that, add to site. This is going to create a new page in your account. So once it's completed, hit OK. So here it is. This is the brand new page on your website called Client Showcase, which you can change to anything you like. And then on the bottom here is this album. So it has all these, all these images are different albums and then all these have different amounts of photos. So baby Lori has 203 photos in her album and Rachel and Sam have 135 photos in their album. So what you want to do to create your own albums, I'm just going to walk you through the entire step for this process. So what you want to do is once you click once on the out, this section here, it's going to show the settings button. Click on that. This new menu pops up where it says, welcome to Wix photo albums. Easily create beautiful album sites for your clients. Click get started. It's going to open up this editor that's just for your albums. So it takes a minute to the upload. It's actually on a new page as well. So what kind of album do you want the site to, um, to be? So um, I don't have any photos really to show you for demonstration. And so I'm just gonna go with something. So uh, let's say mine's going to be other. Next, add event. Let's say I'm a cookie business or I'm a cookie photographer and I need to take cookies from different customers and um, so they can purchase the photos to use on their websites and things like that. So let's say this is a cookie company event. Um, let's say cookies, uh, cookie monster. I'm just gonna go with the today's event. And then this is how you choose to showcase your photos, the layout. So I'm just going to go with grid view, click next to upload your photos. So click on to upload um, photos. You can um, search for your photos. So I have a few here, so I'm just gonna use these four. I actually bake um, gluten-free, dairy-free um, items as well. That's why I have these photos. I took these photos for that. Um, so that cookbook I'm working on. So, okay, so I added these. So let's go to create your album site. And this will just upload, take a, a minute or two. And this right now what we're viewing is the actual editor for um, the Wix photo albums. So it's, uh, it's different than your Wix um, website editor. So this is just gonna take a few minutes. It's a little slower than your Wix editor for some reason. Okay, so it says go ahead and start customizing your album site. No need to wait, you'll see your images in high resolution when the upload is complete. Now the important thing to remember is that when you upload your photos, you wanna make sure you have good photos, high resolution photos, or not too high, because um, but you want to have good sized photos so they won't be pixelated when customers view them. So this is one of the photos that I took. It looks really amazing. This is a Cookie Monster, the title that I put in here. Um, and then this is the event date. So let's go through some of this information here on um, what the, all these things on the upper side are, or upper top. It. Um, what they are. So if we click on photos, 
this button here. The home page, which is this, what you see here, has four photos. Okay, so that's what this four means. This page four has four has the same four photos actually. See one, two, three, four that I uploaded. This is the new page or new section in this album. Um, so we can go. Um, so like, uh, let's see, cookies. So this page is named cookies. Um, this page here, I'm going to. You can click here. Oops, I just, so this page, when you click on this gear icon, you can change the page name, so uh, cookies two. Okay, and this is actually where it gets interesting. So let me get out of this, let me go back, and let me show you something. So these are the page names for your album, for that particular album, and they show over here on the top right. So you can change these page names, add new page names, or delete them. So the first one is home, and you can see the cover photo for that home picture, um, and then it has alternative photos that you can use. So this is the main cover photo here, and if you scroll down, it'll show you the other three alternatives that you can use because that's what we uploaded. Okay, so this next one says cookies. There's also four images in there, so if you click on that, it'll show you how that page will look on the right. It'll show you these four images. And if you click this gear icon, this is where you can um, make it public, private, let visitors download, social sharing. You can, if you keep scrolling, you can have a heart icon, which will add a heart icon where people can heart it. You can show it with counter or without counter. Show in expand mode or show on hover. So if you want it private, you can certainly set that up here. So this album will be, section will be, page will be private and they'll have to enter a password that you provide. So let's go make that private. I'll show you how to just do it all private. Click X. So this page in particular is um, private. So, okay. So let's say on cookies too, you want to add a few more page, uh, a few more cookies. So let's upload some cookies. Let's upload these two more, okay? And then this page, I'm gonna, uh, let's say I wanted to hide this page. I don't wanna use it right now, but I might in the future. So I'll just hide that one. And then this one, I'm gonna go back into Cookies 2 and make it private. So that's password protected as well. Okay, so let's X out of that. So that was the photos that we were just in, the photos tab. So if you go here to layouts, if you click on layouts, this is where you can change the main view of how your album is going to look. So they have lots of options. Um, let's see, and it'll show you what your inside pages would look like too. So we can scroll through those to see. You can do full screen as well. Sliders, okay. And if you scroll up and go dark, it'll do black screen instead of white. So these are the options for those. So you can select any of these um, and it'll just swap it out for you. You don't have to do anything else, okay. So let's click on info. So info is going to be where you can change the name of Right here I wrote Cookie Monster. Um, so you can just put like <clears throat> your um, main client if you like and then if they have sub things like um, if you're a photographer for a wedding event, you can do brides, um, um, like this can be the main um, section for your wedding party, party and then the other section for the pages you can name them brides, brides uh, bridesmaids, flower girls, grooms, things like that um, or grooms. Um, okay, and then so you can change the event name or event date. You can change the view photos button to anything you like. You can upload a logo here that will sh display and you can, you don't have to have that if you don't want. You can change your font choice. 
and they have a lots of options for your fonts. So let's get out of this. Okay. Okay, so I showed you how to change password protect individual pages inside an album. This setting is how to make the entire album private. So you can make it public or private. So let's go ahead and make it private. You can choose a password that you can give to your client. So let's say cookie, let me just put in cookies. Okay, and let's hit exit. So what we wanna do, the last setting is this arrow here on the left. So you click on that back arrow and you can see the album I created here, Cookie Monster. So in this album, it's not only password protected on the outside, but some of the inner pages are password protected too in case you, you know, if it's going to, let's say a bridal party, and you, but there are some photos in there that only apply to a certain um, client out of that party and you don't want, they don't want other people to see, you can certainly password protect it and get them, you know, permission to view that. So, so that is done. So this is the album here. So the overview button here on the left is just to track your success of your album. So when people start to view it and share it, you can see it here. Um, so my album, you have one, uh, one album in this. On the upper right, you can create a new photo album and go through the same process we just did for a, let's say I have a brownie custom, um, vendor and I take photographs of, you know, brownies. Whatever your, um, you know, what you do, you can just create the new photo album and you can have those different pages. You know, you can certainly set it up to where you have one photo album per client and, and um, which is what I would recommend. And then that way you have, you know, each client has their own photo album. Okay, so let's go. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's go back to the overview button and then we want to publish your photo album. So that button I just clicked on the bottom was publish your photo album. Uh, let me go back in here to edit and make sure that this published. So I clicked on edit and what I'm gonna do on the upper right hand side, I'm gonna click the publish button. See where it says publish now? Let's click that. Okay, now this is where you can name your album um, to be a subdomain for your business. So um, so they can just type this in. So I'm just gonna leave it as Cookie Monster. And it's gonna be .cliftondesigns.com. And you can sh choose to show this album on your website or not. And I'm gonna hit Publish Now. So it's, it may take up to one hour to update, so keep that in mind. So I'm gonna hit Publish. So this may take a minute. or two, it looks like. Now, if you have any questions about anything that I discussed in this video, you can certainly reach out to me in the comments below and ask me those questions and I can try to respond either um, with an answer or by creating a video to show you how to do something. Um, if you're just totally confused about the situation and you want help, I can help you. Um, I charge by the half hour for site maintenance or site updates. And that can include anything from your store to your blog to whatever you like. And if you want me to create your entire website, I can certainly do that for you as well. Okay, so this says congratulations, your album is now online. So, and this is the URL address if you want to copy it and share it and give it to somebody, one, like one of your clients. So click done. So here it is, it's published and everything. So on this upper left tab, see it has a new, you're in a new editor just for this photo album. That's what you're on. So if you click on, click back to your um, Wix website editor, you will see that it's now here in your actual website. It says client showcase and it shows it. I have 10 photos under Cookie Monster. So what you want to do, um, the next steps are you can publish it and have it on the web, 
or you can go to settings, that button on the left, um, part of this thing, let me go back and show you. So you can hit, click here and hit settings. And then let me go through these tabs. So the main tab is what we were doing. Um, you can manage your album, which is what we were just in on this upper right hand tab. You can show the album list. I have one album and it's named Cookie Monster. Um, you can go to settings. And this is where you can album thumbnails click. So you can change it to album opens in a new window or opens in a pop-up. I have open in a pop-up. This is the layout how you can choose how the main default um, is shown for when someone initially comes. So I have it set to, uh, let's do, I'm gonna do this layered. So it's gonna be layered and it's gonna have the event name and the date and the cookie. So you can change all these thumbnail sizes to anything you like and the spacing. The spacing is the in between, if I had more than one album here, the space in between those two albums. So under design, you can change the title, the style, the color, um, to, to the font choices, the text box background, which is behind the image, border width, and things like that. And that's pretty much it. So when you're done with this, hit the publish button. Okay, so it's published on the web. So I'm going to go to my website and I'm going to find this album and show you how it looks with um, getting into there with the password protection. So this may take a minute. Okay. So this is my website. Let's go in here real quick. And it did create a new folder, and I didn't organize this because I'm just using this as an example. So go under client, well, this is gonna be the example client showcase. And it's gonna show you what we just created. So, and it's, when you hover over, it's gonna show you all those four images I have on here. You can assign that to only show one main image, or when you hover over it, to show all four images um, when I first created it. You can certainly delete those images that you don't wanna use on this cover photo. So it's kind of a neat effect. So when you click on here, it's going to bring up this pop-up box here. Let's see. So it's going to enter this password because I'm a guest and I set this as password protected. So um, the password I chose was cookies. So let's enter that. Now I'm in this site. So this is what we created. Um, so now this is the main cover photo. So you can click view photos. See, I didn't add a business name up here. I should have, but I didn't for an example. So I should have done that. So this is this is all the photos that I did. And on the upper right and on the bottom here, it's where you can add, um, you can view those pages we created. So if I click on Cookies 2, or that was Cookies, so Cookies 2, you can see the page that we created for Cookies 2. Now on the bottom left is your social. So um, the heart icon, and these are optional. So if you don't want these on yours, you can turn those off. Um, these are social icons. You can email, you can heart, you can download. Now it, the download button, you probably wanna turn off um, for your business, for sure. So these are the options that you can do and how to do it. So if you have any questions, like I said, feel free to comment in the comments below shoot me an email or go to my website cliftondesigns.com if you have any questions or need help i'm i'm willing to help you um if you would like for me to create a website for you i'm very reasonably priced um if you click on request a quote on my website um, if you fill in this quote request form um i'll be happy to respond and give you um the best quote i can so Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please comment and like and subscribe. Thank you so much.